Welcome to Cabo Roig. In a month's time, this place will be absolutely mobbed with people here for St. Patrick's Day. If you've come across this video, give it a thumbs up because I want to try and get at least 200 thumbs up on this video and share it with people that you know that have property in Cabo Roig. It's going to be interesting. It is Saturday afternoon. Hope you enjoyed the video that went out of Welcome to Cabaroig Strip in winter time and I've got to say as expected it is really quiet here today it is out of season Pocolino, fantastic pizzas, Pocolino, King of Tandoori restaurant, Pirates, Mexican, Indian, Italian, Balti Tower, tell me if you've eaten at the Balti Tower, 15.95. Is that good value for money? Tell me. Is that good value for money down here? Tapas, paella and pizza. That's the place that was in Torrevieja. So they were in Torrevieja and they moved down to Cabo Roig. I'm going to take a trip up this side street because there was a bar that used to be in here. And I'm just going to see if it's been taken over or if it's been sitting empty all this time. Was a way bit out of the way, so it was always going to be a bit of a struggle for them. And as expected, it's not been taken over, it's actually up for sale, and it's still sitting the way it was when the previous occupants left the bar, and they've left the bar go about a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago. TJ's bar. And there is still some couple of bottles in there. It's a shame. What does it say for the Cabaroig strip? I mean, is it just now a summer destination? It's definitely not an all year round destination now, anyway. I'll walk back out here. So, we're back onto the main strip at Cabaroig. Murphy's 2 Murphy's 2 It's only Homes at 3 o'clock It's a Saturday afternoon Where is everyone? And then you've got Bella Baya Good Irish place Irish owned Irish owned And we'll take a walk Further up the strip and See what's happening today This place is closed also. Temporary closed for end of season. And there's another one up for rent. Cafe. Breakfast and food. See a killer. It's really difficult for bars in this part of Spain, especially when they're it is all down to being very seasonal. Good old looky looky man getting set up. Where would Spain be without his looky looky man? I tell you, all of you. <laughs> there was a thing about the fact that Spain has had one of the best tourist seasons for the last couple of years. And the money that it made have been phenomenal. Wonder how much money that would increase due to the fact that if they included all the money that Looky Looky Men took and all the illegal cash deals that are done in Spain, McCafferty's. That's a cracking bar as well, McCafferty's. Tell me if you had a pint in McCafferty's. And then there's a few 
few other places though. Mm. Smiling Jacks, the oldest first Irish pub in the area. Oh, yeah. He's a Liverpool fan. Big Kev, I love the fact Liverpool must be playing today. Rocker in town. Bushwhacker, I've got a, someone on this evening, that'll probably be for this evening, won't be this afternoon. And then the good old KFC brings us to the end of the Cabaroy strip. And then it looks like that bar over there's closed down, San Marie Cafe Bar. I'll tell you one thing, I, uh, hats off to anyone that opens up a bar in this day and age in a place like Cabaroy or anywhere in Spain because it is really hard work. The fact that a lot of stuff now is really, even the resorts that were all year round are struggling due to the fact that, well, the B word as they say. So anyway, Cabaroy on a Saturday afternoon. Let's have a walk down the other side. It's a shame when you see a lot of these places Sitting empty. Take a walk around this side. The cavalry in. I think it's in just over a month's time. This place will be absolutely buzzing with people here for St. Patrick's Day. It is the biggest St. Patrick's Day parade outside Ireland. And I think it's also the biggest when it comes to people. Like the most I've had is around about 10,000 people on the strip for um, St. Patrick's Day. Coffee and wine. Another one that looks closed for the winter season. So if you have been coming to Cabo Roy, tell me in the video, when was the first time that you came to Cabo Roy on holiday? And do you have a holiday home here? and where about you are from. Let's see how much properties are going for in Carberoy in this day and age. 379,000. That house, 239 for an apartment. It's not cheap. 595,000 for that house. 699,000 euros. Wow. Nearly three quarters of a million pounds. I tell you, it's not cheap. And then Casada. Benny Hoffa. There's not many of them down around here. Apartments in Torrebeca. 263,000. Apartment in Torrebecca, 139, probably about the cheapest I've seen so far. 110 in La Mata. 246. Los Balcones. 290 for an old one in Dolores. That must have a lot of land. Three bedroom. Jesus. You can get a lot more money, you can get a lot more property for your money in Dolores. You can get a lot more. A lot more. 541,000 euros. Mate, you're choking your breakfast. That's the price of property that you pay in this part of Spain. Lasagna. 510,000 euros. I can remember that someone bought a, 
a property in Playa Flamenca for 40,000 euros off plan. Gone are those days. Definitely gone are those days. So that has been a little walk around Cabo Roig Saturday afternoon. And I've got to say, it's a shame to see so many empty bars, but obviously it's a time of year where people are coming out. The fact that they've even got the football on in this pub, there's no one there at all. Oh, really feel sorry for the bar owners. It's really hard. It's one of the hardest businesses to open anywhere, anywhere these days. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this Saturday afternoon walk around the one and only Cabo Roig Strip. And an interesting look at the price of properties. God, I think we'll end up buying about 100 miles in land at this rate. Anyway, on that note, we have to park the car. And, uh, and this way. Looky, looky, men setting up. Oh, forgot to say. That's, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, it is completely free. And we're going to try and get to at least 200 thumbs up on this video so if you watch to the end give it a thumbs up